Ah! What's going on, Jets fans? Welcome into NYJ Today. In this video, we're going to be breaking down the signing of Carl Lawson, the defensive end from the Cincinnati Bengals, who is a true edge presence on this defensive line. Don't look at just the stats. This guy was dominant last year as far as quarterback hits and pressures on the quarterback. We're going to be looking at his stats. We're going to be looking at his game tape. And we're going to be talking about him and this defense as we move forward. Let's get after it. We're going to start this video by just talking about Carl Lawson and the fact that he absolutely was dominant last year. Do not just look at the stats for his sacks. That would be a big mistake. So this is a little clipping that I found online. It says, with his past injury issues in the rearview mirror, Lawson transformed from a pass rushing spark to a more complete edge defender, but pressuring the quarterback remained his bread and butter. Lawson had pro football focuses sixth highest pass rushing grade during the 11 weeks that he was a starter. For the entire season, Lawson accumulated 64 quarterback pressures and 24 quarterback hits per PFF. Only three edge defenders had more pressures and only one had more hits. So this is a dude that is going to get after it on the edge. He's going to hit the quarterback. He's going to make his presence felt we obviously want this guy to be in that 8 to 12 sack range. Every Jets fan does. But just remember that the quarterback needs to feel his presence. So the numbers alone are not enough. Technically, Jordan Jenkins had an 8 sack year just not too long ago. And we all know that he was not a consistent edge threat. So just keep that in mind. Applying pressure is obviously valuable, but large signing bonuses and guaranteed salaries are given to players who rack up sacks. Lawson only had two sacks from weeks 5 to 17 after he had three and a half sacks through the first four weeks. The NFL world is a bit smarter than it was in previous years, and we collectively know sacks can be a misleading stat. Lawson's pass rushing grade speaks for itself, and so does his top 10 finish in ESPN's sacks created metric. The sacks didn't always come, but Lawson was winning early and often. So again, kind of like what I talked about in the Corey Davis video, this guy wins one-on-one -on -one matchups. And again, Robert Sala spoke about this in his press conferences. He wants guys that can win their one-on-ones and can make big, big plays. And Carl Lawson is going to help not only himself, but the entire defense to make big, game-changing plays. When we take a look at the stats here, we see Carl Lawson is a lot like a Trey Hendrickson in the sense that this was really his biggest year as a starter in the NFL, or mostly his only year as a consistent week-to-week -week starter in the NFL, and he really showed that he has the goods. So he played about 68% of the snaps this year, 11 starts. He has had some injuries in the past, but he has moved on, and he has done much, much better staying healthy. So I think as we move forward here, he has added a ton of muscle to his body. He is a much stronger player than he once was when he came into the NFL. So I can expect him to actually reverse his fortune as far as maintaining good health throughout the entire NFL season. So what we see in the last four years, his first four years in the NFL, he popped out onto the scene, eight and a half sacks his rookie year, had a little bit of a down year his second year, only one sack, but also only played in seven games. And then these last two seasons, five and a half and five sacks. Try not to get lost in those numbers because, again, he is a very, very consistent hitter of the quarterback and pressure on the quarterback from that edge position. I cannot wait to watch Carl Lawson, Jonathan Franklin Myers, and Quinn and Williams get after these quarterbacks. And here's the thing that's crazy. The Jets still have the possibility they might sign another veteran edge presence or even draft another uh, edge presence for this defense. <laughs> Getting all goosey over here. And now we're just going to take a look at a couple of plays here for Carl Lawson. So what you're going to see again is a guy who's going to get up the field extremely fast, very similar to a Yannick Ngakwe as far as size and speed goes. 
this dude can get after it. And we can see here that he's up on this offensive lineman. He gets him off balance, is able to use his hands to knock him over, and then gets to Aaron Rodgers and gets the sack. And here we are again seeing Carl Lawson get up the field, get this offensive tackle off balance, and he uses that left arm actually pretty well. I see him doing that in a lot of the plays that I've watched. And he gets that arm out really quickly, kind of knocks them off balance. And again, getting to the quarterback, hitting them, sacking them. This is what we can expect from Carl Lawson. And again, I don't think it's a stretch to say that our best pass rusher is still Quinn and Williams. So he's still going to be taking on those double teams. And Carl Lawson is going to be free to rack up some pressures on the outside. On this next play, you're going to see... Carl Lawson actually getting around Trent Williams, and you can see he's got the speed. He's got the ability to kind of get around these offensive tackles very, very easily. Even big dudes like Trent Williams, a really good and really widely respected left tackle in the foot, excuse me, in the National Football League. So again, you're not seeing him doing it against slouches. You're seeing him doing this against some really good offensive linemen in these last few clips. Uh, just could not be any more excited and pumped up about this move. And on this last play, this is as close to the Predator that we've seen in a very long time. And when I say the Predator, I mean John Abraham, our best pass rusher in a very, very long time since we traded him away to acquire Nick Mangold in the NFL draft. You're looking here at a dude that just completely mugs this left tackle here, uses his hands beautifully gets that tackle's hands right off of him and gets in there and just completely destroys Daniel Jones. So very impressive. We're going to talk in this next segment about how this changes the defense for the New York Jets this coming fall. So instant reaction. I love this move. It is fantastic. I would have been just as fired up for a Yannick Ngakwe. You could have absolutely sold me on Trey Hendrickson as well. But after doing some more research on this guy, this is one of the best pass rushers that was available in free agency, and Joe Douglas got it done. This is a young, highly, highly talented defensive end that's going to change the outlook of this defense. And so the question is, is how does he change it? Well, for years and years, we have been relying on blitzes and schemes to generate pass rush on quarterbacks. It's why we struggled so long against Tom Brady. Everybody struggled against Tom Brady, but against elite quarterbacks, we have never really been able to have any success, excuse me, because we haven't been able to generate any pass rush with our front four. And this is how you win in the NFL. You have to be able to get, uh, excuse me, you have to be able to generate pass rush with your front four and let your secondary and your linebackers do their jobs in their coverages. So this changes everything because now Quinn and Williams, Jonathan Franklin Myers, Carl Lawson, and now even guys like Bryce Huff, Jabari Zuniga, these guys can all work together to generate a pa uh, pass rush. We don't need to count on just one dude. We can now have multiple guys on the defensive line getting after the damn quarterback. And I want to see that more than anything on defense this year. I could care less if we don't have the best cornerbacks. It's not important. Or let me, let me rephrase that. It is important to have good secondary, but more important it is to have a great pass rush and to have young, talented players along that defensive line. So if you're wondering if this is a good move, without a doubt, great, great move for the New York Jets. I can't wait to watch him play, and I can't wait to watch us get after the quarterback. It is going to be so much fun and so much different than what we are used to. Let me know what you guys think about Carl Lawson in the comments. I want to know what you guys think about the signing. Did you want him? Was there a different edge rusher that you wanted? Just let me know what you guys think in the comments. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching NYJ Today. That is the third free agent signing video that I've created tonight. I hope you all have enjoyed the content. The Jets are getting after it, and I'm going to ask you guys to get after it. Please, jet up the like button, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. We are having an absolute blast creating this content for you, and I cannot wait to talk with you guys on Wednesday for our live stream. So check that out. Go Jets, and I'll see you guys next time.